Hi folks, Josh Kuryowski here again. So evolutionary design, we think about this as one of the most important parts of being agile. You start with a primitive thing and you evolve it over time. It can be applied to so many different human endeavors, right? You could start out with a primitive version of a sketch, right? You want a final beautiful illustration, you start with a sketch something very simple that was done with pencil and paper real quick and evolve it over time into a beautiful, gorgeous illustration. That's, that's evolutionary design in action. Alistair Coburn, he talks about it as a walking skeleton. Instead of producing a bunch of bones, you've produced a full skeleton. You've got it. It just doesn't have any details. There's no flesh on the bones, no clothing on the flesh. So you're starting off with this walking skeleton, right? It's a functioning thing it's just very primitive. You've got to get really good at thinking about how do I take this sophisticated end solution that I want to provide and how do I start out producing it as a very primitive thing, right? That involves knowing what not to work on. Only work on the most fundamental essence of the thing first, handle your risks, get something up and running, and then start getting feedback and start evolving it. This is the process. It's really important. We're helping a pharmaceutical apply this right now to the drug development process. It can be applied to so many things. Of course, software development comes to mind as well. But many, many things. I could produce a final report for something. I could start out with a primitive report, get feedback on it, evolve it, get more feedback, and finally have my awesome finished report. Same for presentation. You see, it applies to lots of things and it helps to get really good at it if you wanna be agile. It is core to being agile. So learn evolutionary design and you'll get some wonderful benefits from the practice.